welcome back to my channel and to my journey in beauty. Today's video is adding up what's new to my collection from July. If you're new to my channel, every month I do these videos showing you everything that has joined my little makeup collection this month so that you can request videos, reviews, or what have you and just know what's lurking around my collection. So let's go ahead and get into it. First this month, I did participate in a makeup swap with my beautiful friend Angela from Beauty by Angela here on YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I received on my end of the swap. First and foremost, I was very excited to receive the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon Palette. I've always wanted this palette, but never really wanted to pay full price for it in case I didn't like it. But I do love this. I have swatched it. It smells lovely. It has a nice color story here, and it is in my makeup basket for July. So we'll see if I get a chance to use it or not since I'll be gone for part of that time as well as she did go ahead and pass on two of these little Milani palettes to me. Must have neutrals and must have metallics. These are beautiful and from what I can tell the formula is impeccable. So I'm very excited to have these as well as I did receive two blushes from Angela. The first one is the e.l.f. blush in the shade Berry Mary. This is way too dark for Angela and so I can see why she passed it on to me. However, I do really like this on my skin tone so I've been enjoying that. And I also received from Angela the Ulta Mineral Blush in the shade Tiger Lily. I've never tried an Ulta Beauty blush before. This is definitely a shimmery blush and possibly more like a blush topper for me in the summertime. I know this will be a gorgeous blush for winter for me or maybe just a light, uh, darker highlighter, you never know. And then the number one thing that I was excited to receive from Angela is now my ride or die favorite blush. I've worn it practically every day since she's left. And that is the Butter Blush from Physicians Formula in the shade Vintage Rouge. This is the blush I wore for my sister's wedding and I absolutely love it. It is stunning. It is what I have on my cheeks today. And I think I'm gonna be end up hitting pan on this baby at some point in the near future because I love it that much. I also received from Angela um, the Wet n Wild Color Icon Loose Pigment in the shade Pegasus Flutter. It is this beautiful purple shade and it does have a shimmer to it. So we'll be trying that out. I really haven't tried a loose pigment, so I'm excited to see how my hand goes at that. So I did receive three lip products from Angela. The first is the It Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi Rose Lip Balm. I tried it while she was here and I really liked it and she really didn't. So here you go, that's that. It's a really nice thing to just carry around in your pocket or your purse to you know th throw on your lips without a mirror or what have you and then the next one i received she was so kind and left a couple of milani products behind for me because i cannot get milani anywhere where i live in the city where i live we don't have it at walmart we don't have it at our drug stores nothing so even ulta there's no milani at ulta here so this is the Milani Amour Matte Metallic Lip Cream. This is what it looks like. It is in the shade Chromatic Addict. And I really like this. This is really pretty. It's definitely metallic. So, um, but then the one that I really loved was the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. And this is in the shade Soft Rose. I really like this. It's the perfect lip plumper. It's comfortable, it's creamy. It's a nice shade and it's not like too intense or anything. It's like a soft minty feeling. So I really like that. And now I'm gonna show you the products that I purchased this month. The first product is from L'Oreal and it is another Color Riche Shine product. And this is in the shade Luminous Coral. I love this shade and it was definitely another favorite of Emily Noel's when she did lip swatches on all of these. I also have the shade Varnished Rosewood, which was another favorite of hers, but I thought this product would be really fun for summer. And then I also purchased 
another new brow gel. This is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Brunette. I'm gonna show you that this is quite a bit bigger spoolie than what I'm used to working with. So there's definitely been a little learning curve on that, but it is a nice product and it is a good shade match for me. As well as I got the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. It's a nice little skinny pencil. You have a nice little spoolie on one side and a very precision tip on the other side. Again, Ash Brown is a good shade match for me and I love a micro or precision brow pencil. I've learned that about myself. I will never again purchase a larger eyebrow pencil. <laughs> I also purchased at Target the number seven Stay Perfect Foundation in the shade Warm Beige. And this is what it looks like. This is supposed to be an all day wear foundation with SPF 15. It says it is for all skin types and it is a medium coverage. I would agree with all of that. Do have a nice pump on the top there. It is what I'm wearing today, so it is a nice summer shade for me, and I've really been enjoying that. I did make a small shop hush order, which you may or may not be aware of already based on some other content that I've already uploaded, but I did first order from Face Candy the Atlantis palette. This is a beautiful blue green teal palette really enjoyed this already i used this in the seven days of color challenge and i cannot wait to do three looks one palette with this as well as the bad habit athena palette <laughs> this is what it looks like this is a color story that has always spoken to me it has always been on my wish list on shop hush so I went, when I went ahead and ordered the Atlantis palette, I threw this one in there and I, again, I cannot wait to do three looks, one palette for you guys with this one. Let me know in the comments below though, would you rather see the Athena or the Atlantis palette, three looks, one palette first, because I'd be happy to film it in whatever order. And then last, you guys would have already seen the three looks, one palette video, no, four looks, one palette video with the Violet Voss Flamingo palette. I'll have that linked in the cards for you guys, um, but it is a beautiful bright palette. I had to get my hands on this. I've been wanting to try the Violet Voss formula for quite a while, and of course when she came out with this colorful palette, I knew it was meant to be mine, and it has been wonderful to use. Again, I use this a lot in my seven days of color challenge. Again, that video will be linked. And at the same time that I ordered that, I did go ahead and pick up the Becca vanilla quartz highlighter. Angela got me hooked on this when she was here. I never thought that this would be a good shade for my skin because I do have warm undertones as well as I'm more of a medium skin tone. But oddly enough, this is beautiful on anybody. It looks gorgeous on Angela and I really love how it looks on my skin. So I highly recommend this and I can't wait to use it more. And last is another little product that I picked up as a 100 point perk during that Sephora order. And it is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. This is meant to be added to foundation. You can use it as a liquid highlighter or what have you. I've never tried a product like this and I thought this tiny little bottle might just be the way to go. So there you go. These are all the products that made their way into my collection this month. I did also want to share with you guys that now that I have acquired all of these items and the items in last month's adding up video. I am going on a no buy until Thanksgiving. I'm not going to make a video about it or updates or anything like that. I'm just going on a no buy unless I need to repurchase something that is crucial to my collection like a concealer or a brow pencil or what have you. I'm going to be on a complete no buy but I am more than excited to do that because I have a lot of stuff to work with here and a lot of new and fresh content to share with you guys just based on what I already have and especially the new palettes and all that jazz that I've received in the last couple of months. So no worries, I'm going to have lots of new and fresh content for you guys, but I do need to like and pull back on the reins until Thanksgiving when I start shopping Black Friday sales and things like that for Christmas. I already have a couple of ideas 
of things that I'm going to put on my Christmas makeup wish list. So let me know down in the comments if you would like to see a video on that. And I hope all of your makeup days are beautiful makeup days. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! I did get the must-have neutrals and the must-have metallics. Bye, bye, bye. That's a gorgeous... Bye, 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 bye. I love you.